how to create an incredible CV in just six minutes using this free template and ChatGBT. First thing you need to do is download the free template via the link in the description. Now these CV and cover letter templates you see over here are five star reviewed by many users. So let's add them to our cart. Enter your email address and click on get. Next you will see an upsell for an ATS template that I personally like, but you can skip this by clicking continue since the free version we are about to get is perfect. Now click open template, which will be redirected to my Google Drive. Now if you open this single page version, you won't be able to edit it just yet. You have to make sure you're logged into your Google account first, then go to file and choose to either download it in Microsoft Word or create a copy directly in Google Docs. Then press this button underneath folder and select your own drive. Name the file something like CV, along with the company name you're applying to, and click make a copy. And then we have a clean, simple, yet professional template. Okay, first things first, we need to ask ChatGPT what is the best CV section structure? Okay, this format seems perfect. So let's start with our contact information. That includes your name, location, date of birth, phone number, email address, LinkedIn profile, and optionally a link to your portfolio or personal website. Now, if you're short on space or face alignment issues, you can adjust these invisible borders to keep everything neat and tidy. All right, now let's move on to the most important section. But first I want to know, should I even include a CV summary? Okay, so ChatGPT recommends including a summary. So let's continue and ask, can you write a CV summary based on this job description? I've randomly picked this vacancy for the example. So what you can do is copy, and paste the job description into ChatGPT and choose brackets to indicate where the description begins and ends, and then press enter. Now to refine the CV summary, instruct ChatGPT to include a metric and when it was achieved for context. Keep the summary under 50 words. Now that looks great already, but if you want a different response, just click the regenerate icon. Okay, so based on ChatGPT's output, this is the type of CV summary that I would include. So one that expresses your years of experience in the field, includes a relevant quantified result with a timeframe for context and willingness to use your expertise to contribute to the position and company for future success. Next, it's time for the CV experience section. Start by asking, can you write a CV experience section based on this job description and copy the relevant parts from the job description and paste them into ChatGPT. Press enter. Okay, looks good. And then ask, can you structure it according to the PAR method? All right. And then the last prompt, include metrics and the time frame for context. Press enter. Now, these are really good examples you can draw inspiration from. And after making some small adjustments, here's what mine would look like. So I explain which company, platform or project experienced the problem, what I did to solve it, and the measurable results of my efforts within a certain time frame. So we also provide some context. Now let's cover the education section and ask ChatGPT, can you write a CV education section that aligns with the requirements in this job description? And then again, you copy and paste the required qualifications into ChatGPT. Look, such a great example already. Now let's ask ChatGPT to match this to my bachelor's degree in international business. Keep it under 50 words. And as you can see, you can basically ask ChatGPT to match it to whatever certificates, courses, or degrees you've accomplished. And it will come up with transferable skills and learnings. All right, let's move on to the skills section. Ask ChatGPT, can you make a CV skills section based on this job description? So again, copy and paste. Now, ChatGPT is gonna list a bunch of skills, which you can use as inspiration. But let's ask it to categorize it by soft and hard skills. Keep it under 50 words. All right, so what you could do then is insert a table. So you can structure these soft and hard skills. Once done, click the dots icon. Table options. So you can adjust the cell padding for better alignment. And make the borders invisible. Now personally, I don't like to waste too much space on the skills. I feel like it looks better to put one skill after another, separated by these bullet points, which you can add by holding option plus the asterisk sign on your keyboard or by holding control command and the space bar. Okay, so 
That brings us to the project section. Enter, can you give me an example CV project section based on this job description? Enter. Okay, let's follow up with categorize it by project name, role, duration, goal, and results. Keep it under 50 words. Press enter. And these are really concise project examples. Now, here's how I would include it in my Google Docs file. I've listed everything one after another, separating them with vertical lines. Now you can do so too by holding option plus the vertical line symbol on your keyboard. And this format helps to save space. All right, now let's round things up by asking ChatGPT, what is the best CV file type to send to recruiters? Now, ChatGPT recommends us to use PDF and to name the document accordingly. So that's what we are going to do. Enter your first and last name, followed by CV, and go to File, Download, and pick PDF document. Boom. There you have it, a clean, simple, yet professional looking CV. So that's how you create an incredible CV in just six minutes using ChatGPT.